Hello everybody. Welcome to this video. In this video, I will try to explain in a very simple way how to build a my calculator tool using the MATLAB guide. It's very simple and it can be made in few minutes. So let's see. To start with, once you open this MATLAB, just type guide in the MATLAB command window. This is for GUI development environment and press enter. It should open a window to select you the type of template which you want to open. We will choose the blank template because we want to build everything from scratch and we click OK over here. So once you click OK, you will see a untitled figure window will come up like this. You can resize this window, you can resize the layout as per your wish. And this is the place where we will design our <coughs> calculator. It's a simple calculator. My intention is not to make you teach how to the functionality of a calculator, but my intention is to teach you the guide tool of MATLAB. <coughs> I have opened an empty directory over here as you can see and and uh, when we save this we can use my calculator dot figure what we'll see is the moment we click this save button Along with that .fig file, and also .m file will appear over here. So let's see what happens. So you saw a .m file and a .fig file appear. So basically the .fig file is for your designing and .m file is the place where the actual code resides. The callback functions and all those things will go into the details right now. So if I open back the layout, this is your empty layout and the name change to mycalculator.fig and over here we can design our calculator. Now if I see the code quickly, so this is the template.m file which gets created by MATLAB and <coughs> you can see the function starts with mycalculator which takes variable number of arguments, input arguments and this is the basic opening function where they define handles to this GUI and they have the variable number of arguments. Now let's go back to the figure window and let's start putting our widgets. First we need a static text. We are not going to write anything in that text box. So that's why we don't need this edit text. We need a static text, uh, a static text box. So we select that and create it as per our size. That aesthetic text string comes up on the top, which we'll set later on. We'll set the properties of this layout later on. And now we need push button buttons to enter the values and enable the calculation. We select this push button and over here and design this first push button. We can do similarly and uh, uh, click here and copy paste uh, in our layout. The other and easier option is we just right click on this previously created push button and just drop it wherever we want. So this saves us from the effort of resizing all the push button of the same size again and again. So we created uh, 3D. But I think we will need 10 push button for numbers from 1 to 0. So I'll click quickly create more buttons. 1, 2, 3, 10. Now we need some push button for certain operations like 
uh, like we have to clear the screen so clear then this will be our probably plus probably our minus and equal to I am not go, going to do implement equal uh, multiplication and division because let's first try to do a simple way. Before we proceed, if you quickly want to verify how your lay layout will look like, we can uh, check by running this uh, button. And in fact, I will recommend that we should quite often use this to see how our layout is coming actually because this is the designing figure, but actual will look once we click on this button. So I am clicking on this button and activation will save changes to your figure file and so basically what it's saying is once i activate this it will update my .m file with all the buttons and widgets what i have put here i think that's fine even if you do a save of this it will do the same thing at the back end i think we should click yes and if you see this is how our layout will look like here is a text box and push button but if you see the we can't find a difference because the uh, color of all the things are same. So first, let's start you now setting up the properties. Before we get into into the properties, let me quickly show you how our uh, .m file looks like after we did all these modifications. So I will quickly go to the MATLAB file, and if you see here, all these callbacks functions are added. We initially we had only till the uh, output function, and now all these push button which we added all the callbacks came so callbacks for the push buttons comes automatically the moment you add it into the UI now I can close this because uh, let's set the first properties I go here I somehow I'm not liking the color because everything is mixed so let me first set the color of the <coughs> uh, our uh, window so I'll go to the property inspector Bring it to the front. And there should be something to set the color. I'm not able to find it all. So here it comes color. I was looking for background color or something like that. Sorry for that. So <clears throat> if you see right now our color is almost gray, light gray. We can click on this button to select the color which we want. I think I will go for white but of course you get different options. White looks good for the time being. I click OK and if I see in the background this color changed. You can ignore these grids. These grids are just to for us to help us in uh, placing our widgets, and so it it won't come up. So we can run again, and I think I will do it. Do not show this dialog again. I'll click yes, and it looks nice and clean. Now first, let me set the properties of this. So I can double click, or I can right click and go to property inspector, or uh, or even I can uh, double click and this will come up. So it's same. So first of all. Uh, let me set. Uh, I don't want a static text to be here. It's, it's, it should be a string. So I can just delete this and set zero. And uh, uh, I think I will like to increase the font size as well, probably to twenty-five or better thirty, because the good part of MATLAB is. The moment you do the change, you can preview it in the figure window. I will also like to align the text. So, text alignment should be there somewhere. I think horizontal alignment. Let's see what it says. I would like to align it to the right hand side. There should be something similarly. Yeah, so I think this is fine for the time being. So, as the calculator looks like. Is somewhat fine yeah now I will like to set one by one all these push buttons to so I, I will just double click on this quickly go here and set the text as probably one 
and I'm leaving the other properties right now as it is but you can of course modify the size alignment and all those things here as well I do the same with this second push button and click it to So, five. Of course, it's, it's a bit manual work, so probably a bit boring, but this is just one time effort. Once you design this, you can then start programming seven. Okay. and if you notice our push button tag is also same as what index we are giving so we are like it's a coincidence you can say that the order of the push buttons are same but in case it's not same you also have a freedom to modify the tags and the importance of tags you will <coughs> feel when we are doing the uh, coding in the script that time this tags is the reference to this push button okay I'm not sure why it Happen zero. I will do it again. Okay. And now I do it for this button. I make it as a clear and probably I name it as clear. Then it will be easy for me to identify in the <coughs> MATLAB script. I change it to plus sign and I change this tag to push button plus and for this one I change it to minus and I change it to minus or subtraction whatever you feel better you can put it but I think I didn't press the enter I was expecting it so don't forget to press enter or return key after you put the values as per your expectation this is our equal to and I would like to put equal here yeah uh, probably I would like to increase the size of this one because I want to make it a little more yeah this looks good but feel free to play with this so once again we play the uh, this and see how it looks like so this is how it yeah, looks like a bit misaligned here here and there but of course you can fix it now let's jump to the code and see how it works so Yeah, so if you see our even the push button callbacks name has been modified the way we modified there but uh, for the others all those names are same yeah so we have to modify one by one this push button so basically when this push button one is clicked what do we want we want our calculator to set when we press one we want one to be displayed here or basically append here concatenate from the back side okay so this is a text box so everything will be in the string format later on we'll know uh, see how to convert into an string to uh, numerical format to evaluate that expression but right now we will be handling mostly into the string format so how we will do is it in MATLAB they give is set command so we are setting and now they for this function we have an object called handles so handles basically what it is is it is the structure of the user data of this GUI so we will use this handles uh, key to access the tag or the pointer to this text box so we use handles dot and if you remember rightly this text box text uh, tag was text to in case you forget you can anytime go and double click here and see the tag here is text to so this this we should always keep in our uh, notice so I go here type text 
true now what we are setting is setting the string to this so we have to type string in single quotes so the way mat, matlab commands works is mostly it works in pv pair so parameter value parameter value so here first is this parameter we give that this is the parameter we want to set and then what parameter we want to set is value 1 so we could have given one like this it will set one but then there is a problem with that that we can first quickly check what will be the problem i can go back to my figure uh, and run it or even i can use this run button which comes on the top of the tool strip and run this program so right now i have put a call back to this button so I, if i press one if you see it just deletes everything and overrides one so we don't want that we want it to append from the previous value of that so basically if i go back to my script what we will have to do over here is we will have to append in some format so appending or concatenating in matrix in matlab is very simple we have to just use this big brackets sorry i'll delete the previous uh, script and first part will be the a string which already exists in the text box so we do a get again we do the same thing handles dot text to and what we are trying to get from here is a string so we got the value from there and then we are appending to it one yeah i think it should work let's see what happens so we run it again it opens up see no it's appending of course if we press other buttons nothing will happen because we have not yet added the callback of those so let's go ahead and add the callbacks for all these buttons one by one quickly so i do a control c and do a control v and change its value to 2 because it's a push button for 2 i do it similarly for control g some mistake sorry for that control v 3 and then i do it for 4 similarly do it for 5 then i do it for 5. i think i skip for 6 so i'll go back here and do it for 6 7 is done now i'll do it for 8 i do it for 9 i do it for 10 but 10 is actually 0 yeah also what i can do it is the clear this clear callback so here basically what we have to set is nothing but a empty string so i delete everything everything and i just set empty string so now my clear is uh, added now for plus and minus also we can do it right now before testing so we I paste it again and instead of one I need to add plus here and for minus instead of I add minus here this last callback of equal to button will take care later because we have to do some evaluation also here so let's now first run and see how it works so I do a yeah see it clear the screen if I type something then I type C minus 30 plus 9 so it's coming up if i press equal to nothing will happen because right now i have not added the equal callback i do the clear again everything gets cleared so i can my layout is more or less working now now we have to design this callback for equal to button so let's see how we can do that so <coughs> more or less the syntax will remain same we have to set the handle uh, text to of string with the result so we do control v here and <clears throat> so basically let's do it this way we concatenate the string with an equal to sign first and then we concatenate to it the evaluation of 
what the string is at that point of time so we just copy paste this again here oh, but it's getting longer so what I will do is okay first let me paste it here so it's getting longer so what I will do is I will break this line and go to the next line this three dot concept I'm using so yeah so this evaluate button will evaluate the expression which is already existing in my this text box and return the value but it returns the value into the numerical format so I had to change it from new new num to string so we have to use the command num to str I think this is the right command of course I have to match a parenthesis and it looks good so let's see if it works or not so if, when I press run I had to clear I press 41 minus 36 and press equal to button Wow, well, perfect so 41 minus 36 is 5 let's clear it again 32 um, plus 98 minus 56 okay it's a bit complicated but I'm hoping that the result is accurate because if I do 32 plus uh, 98 it becomes 130 and minus 56 is yeah it's 74 perfect so our calculator is more or less working but if I press any other button right now it's fine but if I press this equal to button again it throws some error in the <laughs> MATLAB con window so let's try to figure out how we can make our uh, calculator more robust uh, and more er uh, error free so I go to my script again and this MATLAB provides a feature of try catch where we can really protect the part of the script which is prone to giving such kind of uh, errors into a try catch semantics so I add a try statement and I think I will like to shift everything to once and then I add a catch and yeah so basically if this gives an error it will come to the catch part and what I do is over here probably I again I copy paste to see V. Yeah, of course, I want to type the minus, but I can type something called like error. Yeah, looks good. I do an end. Yeah, that should be fine. So that's all. It should work fine. If I run it again, do a clear, do 65 equal to equal to C. So if you press multiple times, it throws that error. So this is basically coming from here. I'm not sure if you guys know about debugging, but that also we can do. Debugging in MATLAB is very, very simple. So we can put a breakpoint anywhere. Say for example, line 189. It's a callback of equal to sign. And what we can do is, I put a breakpoint. And now if I press equal to button, it goes in here there. Perfect. And now some of the shortcut keys which uh, MATLAB provides is F9, F10, F11. So F10 is to go to the next step or even you can use the uh, uh, buttons on the top but I hardly use them. I, I mostly use the shortcut and that works perfectly fine. So I press F10. It goes to the next step and probably it will throw an error so it will go to the catch part is what I'm expecting but if you want to really quickly check in the debug mode whatever the value you can just go to your uh, MATLAB con window and run the command if you want to run something say for example let's run this uh, no let's let's run what what does the handle of this string will return so you can select that command you can either press f9 or do a control c and control v in this so i i'm going to press f9 now because uh, yeah i i want i play with shortcuts a lot See, so it, it gets the string which is there in this text box too. Perfect. No, okay. So the, this is our layout. So the, don't, don't get confused with this. I close this. I open this. Yeah. So the error comes from here. Yeah. 
bingo so everything is done you can close this you can save this you can quit debugging your app is ready you can distribute this .m file to anyone and he should be able to work with your uh, calculator thanks for watching this video and of course i will bring much more videos similar videos for learning matlab in a very very easy way Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please feel free to write in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye-bye.